Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today I've just received a pink package. Look at that, pink and shiny. And it's like one of those jiffy bags that's got the bubble wrap all inside it. But look, it's a pink one. Yay! And it's got some lovely stickers on it, look. Uh, Hatfield Designs there, Happy Mail. And love your order, leave us a review. So lots of nice tagging on it there and on the back it says Hatfield Designs this is where it's come from uh, Hatfield Designs on Etsy and it says openly me <laughs> me I've got to speak in English now please don't forget to snap it tag it and share it and we definitely will okay so let's get into this package now this is actually a company owned by um a friend of mine, a fellow YouTuber, Alicia Borealis, if you check her out on YouTube and on Instagram. Uh, I'll leave her a link down below. And she has her own little business. And this is... Da, 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 da. Oh, all nicely wrapped. Okay. Can you guess what it is? Let's have a look at our little message. My little receipt there. Okay. And what does this say? Okay, Hatfield Designs. Thank you for your order. We hope you love your tray as much as we do. So, clue there, tray. The lid and the stopper can be a little tight at first, but with a bit of use will become easier to put back and remove. 3D printing often leaves a few little snags, and although we quality check your tray before sending before sending you, before sending, comma, oh, I'm not reading English today, you may find the odd one or two. Not to worry, while using these tend to go after a bit and will become your best diamond painting friend. We'd love to hear from you, so it's telling you there. So there you are, we've got uh, Hatfield Designs 3D there uh, on Etsy and then on YouTube we're Alicia Borealis. Okay, that's the social media for you. Okay, so we'll pop that there. So let's have our look at this. Oh, Hatfield Designs. I like your stickers, Alicia. They're lovely. Okay, let's see if we can open this without ruining my sticker. I don't like to keep my stickers. Oops, although I can probably get them off one of the boxes. So let's open this out. And oh, look at this. And I had to get the pink one. And it says like a satiny pink, I think. Which one did I get? Oh, yes, look, it's like a hot pink. Of course, I'd have a hot pink. So, to be, to be honest, I know it's a diamond. Um, you've got your diamond shape there, but I, it, to me, it's a hedgehog. <laughs> I've got two little eyes on there and it's a hedgehog. Um, have I been doing too many hedgehogs for my granddaughter, do you think? <laughs> So let's just fold uh, that piece of paper. You know me, crafter, never throw anything away. And it's come nicely packaged. It actually came by courier as well, uh, via Hermes, our lovely Hermes lady. Okay, it is a diamond painting tray. So look at that, look at that pink. And it's a so satiny colour. Uh, hedgehog's nose, I'm sorry, uh, I know, I know it is a diamond and it, it's really, really beautifully shaped there, look, as a diamond for your diamond painting, but it's still a hedgehog to me. <laughs> and I'll just take the hedgehog's nose off. So you've got your nice little stopper, even that's shaped like a diamond, which is, uh, the thought that's gone into this is just brilliant. It's amazing. And then the little lid just comes off the tree. Okay, it's a nice thick lid, look and all nice smooth edges i think this is brilliant i really do like this you've got a little bit of rough on here so that it's not too shiny so when you pick it up you don't want too shiny sides otherwise when you pick it up you're going to drop it you do need something with a little bit of grip to hold so that's a really good idea as well uh, you've got your nice ridges there so that it fits nice and snugly and then we have our tray and look at that, all those grooves there. You can catch that? Yeah, you can catch that. And then, of course, we've got our little spout. So when you're tipping your diamonds, they're all going to collect in here and not spill out anywhere. 
that is fab i love this color i'm in love with this color <laughs> but yeah that is so well made love that so let's get some diamonds and have a play we better put uh, the stopper back in i can't believe that's even a little diamond that's so clever i do like that. i do like themed things i do I'm an absolute sucker for it and they do do a smaller size one as well. This one was £9.99 um, and it was £3.99 postage, which I do believe that Etsy set the postage on a lot of these things. Uh, the sellers don't have a great deal of um, control over it. I think Etsy have like standard things that they set. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, let me know if in the comments if you know any different, but that's what I've heard in the past. Um, and then there was a £1 voucher, so I actually got uh, this for £12.99, did I pay? Have a look at my list. Sorry, it was £12.98, of course it was, because it was £3.99 and £9.99, no. and then a pound off. So yeah, £12.98 I've paid, which I think for a good quality trait, and hot pink. And that looks like a head job. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't really be saying that. Yeah, I am. I too tend to be very animal themed. <laughs> I think I'm going to be putting eyes on this. Sorry. <laughs> oh dear. Maybe just when I do a hedgehog uh, diamond painting, I'll put the eyes on it. But yeah, I mean, you don't have to use the lid if you don't want to. But I think you know, particularly if you've got young children, you've got um animals in the house i've got millie my little scotty dog there she is uh, sat there looking at me on top of a diamond would you believe hey and uh, yeah so <laughs> when you've um, if you're halfway through somebody comes to the door or you've not quite finished using this color uh, whichever color you're using you can just snap your lid on and they're going to be fairly safe i mean if it drops from a great height you know, you've got to use your common sense with this, but uh, yeah, and then this just comes off. Uh, as it says on the instructions, it will be a little stiffer to start off with, but I would sooner have it stiff to get off, to start off with, than to have it really, really slack, and then it's just going to drop off at uh, any point, so that's really good. Let's get some gems and have a look at uh, these in here. We want a nice contrasting colour. What shall we have? Oh, I've got some nice white ABs, um, Aurora Borealis. So let's uh, put some white in here. They'll really stand out on the pink. Oh, yes. Let's put some of those in and see how this tray works. What uh, my thinking behind getting the pink was is that I tend to get clear and white in most of my trays because I don't have um, brilliant eyesight and I need as much help as I can get when I'm diamond painting. But then, of course, when you're using a white drill and we're coming up to Christmas, so there will be an awful lot of snow on things. Um, so I thought I'd better get one that the white will stand out better and they really do stand out. And look how those little soldiers have all lined up in that tray. Look at that. Just tap them down to the end if you're wanting to do your multi-placing. But they have all lined up. That is absolutely wonderful. Um, I always have an extra. I always. <laughs> it's just a, a thing that I do when I'm diamond painting. I always have extra drills in my tray. Um, it's just the way I work. I don't multi-place. I've tried multi-placing and I am going to keep trying to multi-place, but I am finding that I'm a lot quicker just single placing. So I am overly worried about my um, drills lining up at the end of a tray so that I can pick them all up at once. I like them spaced out so that I can pick them up. So that's probably how I would work in my tray. Once I've cleared, I'll turn it round. And once I've cleared all the ones from this edge, then I tap again the other way around. Let me just get these. And then I'll work again from the other way around and I just keep turning my tray. So I always do have extras. So the fact that I now have a lid, because I don't always use all of it at once, is a brilliant idea. 
so it just fits nicely dare i turn it upside down and see if it stays on shall we try it and see so let's turn it that way and there's nothing coming out there and let's turn it that way so now this is completely upside down and they're not coming out and they're not coming out and they're not coming out and even with the spout pointed down the hedgehog's nose <laughs> not coming out sorry alicia i know it's a diamond oh dear but uh, yeah i just see animals and everything so yeah that that is uh, really really good now obviously i don't advocate saying it upside down um but i just wanted to try it and see because i'm like that and just think i could have lost all those hippies <laughs> okay so let's see how we pour back into the bag so that just um if you've got dexterity problem you've not got any nails i would just maybe get something that can just pop at the back there um like a little bit of plastic or a uh, paper clip or something like that it's not something that's got a point on it because you don't want to uh, leave dents in your tray but yeah so just lift that off and let's get these poured back in so let's just get the little stopper out, a nice little size just to get hold of. And we've got quite a good size uh, little opening there so that they can pour out. And let's just pour these back into their little packet. So, oh, I'm having more trouble opening the packet than I am actually uh, putting the drills in. <laughs> okay, and just tip gently to the end them a good tip just give a couple a little hand there but there's not really stuck it's going to be just a bit of static with it being new but they've now all gone out as you can see they've all cleared straight into a little packet so that is excellent shall we just have a quick measure of the tray i'll put the stopper back in and make sure i don't lose that because obviously if i start shaking and there's no stopper in which i've done that several times on other trays and they tend to go Wee! <laughs> okay so let's see what size this is so from the tip of the nose to the back there actually it'd be easier to measure it from the back won't it this yes that's better you can see it better there so we're about 14 and a half centimeters which is five and three quarter inches and that's including the stopper there um the actual tray area where the little ridges are is nine and a half centimeters which is three and three quarter inches and then your width is uh, ba, 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 eight centimeters which is about just under well just about three inches three and a bit inches okay and then you just have little tray that goes on the top so yeah i'm very impressed with that i love that i love the color i love the sheen on it i love the finish on it and i will definitely be using this so watch this space for uh, whip and chats and future videos looking at drills i'll use my little head jog <laughs> okay alicia and hatfield designs you get a big thumbs up from me Okay, that's me done for now. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you've enjoyed it, if you just press that little like button, just gives me a bit of a boost with YouTube. And if you want to see me using this tray in future and see what else I get up to, if you press the subscribe button, you'll be notified when the next videos come up and you can see them then. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.